Hi there guys, it's Joey. So I have set up my Esbat Full Moon spell altar and I thought it was so pretty. I was like, I'm going to have to show it. It looks so cute and so pretty. So I was super, super stoked and I thought I'm going to make an impromptu video because, you know, it's not like I've got 101 other things to do. <laughs> nope. So uh, I've got other videos that I want to get done before next week so we can uh, start the Ogum stuff next week and uh, so much, I've got things cooling downstairs that are in the crafting phases. But yeah, I thought we would do an impromptu video, I really really like it. I haven't actually uh, set up Morrigan's main altar yet so that's my next uh, task, although it is my great pleasure. I have however uh, set her up a sort of shriney space on the windowsill over there and uh, that's looking very nice. So yeah, so that's up there and then that's on the radiator because I love it. So this is the actual full moon spell altar. It's not a full size altar, I've been uh, tending to favour the spell altar for uh, spats and things of that nature with a smaller space and it's it's easier to sit at basically um, and the other ones you have to stand at this is easier to sit at so I can sit and meditate here and it's quite easy to do that so I've been really enjoying this little space and it gives it a containment I think uh, you don't get overcrowding and you don't uh, f go overboard <laughs> basically. Uh, I've also got the little uh, willow set up down here. This is part of the uh, Ogum, I guess, honouring altar spell space, I guess you could call it. Uh, this is on the mini altar otherwise and uh, this was actually on the Facebook page so you can see how it looked uh, fully on the Facebook page and then I've taken some elements off here and put them on the uh, full moon space so that willow is incorporated into the energies of the full moon but it's not the overriding theme uh, so and willow fits really beautifully with the energies of this full moon and, and you've got uh, so much water going on in this full moon you, you know full moon in scorpio full moon in, in willow in the, in the month of willow so it's all very very watery uh, so we have pulled some of the elements uh, from the willow space into the full moon space which I thought was important and uh, yeah so if you want to if you want to see that if you want to see the uh, what the willow space looked like in its entirety you can go to the Facebook page uh, and it's in the albums under I am a starry witch album on the starry eyed Facebook page so that's there if you want ideas on honoring willow uh, so, <laughs> onwards, uh, I decided to actually incorporate two energies from the Plant Ally Oracle deck, which is my new Oracle deck that I'm working with and had a video going through them. And so I chose two cards on Instinct and the first one is Trust the Process. So let's have a little read of what it actually says. Uh, uncertainty can create all kinds of stress within your body. Believe in yourself. Trust the process. Abundance is your destiny. Ooh, and there goes the card. So actually that fits really, really beautifully with uh, energies that I'm going to be working on in this full moon. And then you have intentions. Feel inspired to set powerful intentions and take positive action. A clear focus is a gift for moving forward. Uh, so I actually feel that it can be really beneficial to set some intentions uh, at the full moon as well as at the new moon. So most pagan places, pagan practitioners or however you want to say, will say, oh no, no, you only set intentions and seeds at the new moon. Um, and, and full moon is about manifestation but I don't agree with that because well for many reasons but you can work from full moon to full moon for example uh, and set intentions on one full moon and have them flourish before the next full moon you can also set intentions at the full moon that pertain to the waning energies that are forthcoming and I think given that that's my favorite time of the lunar calendar is uh, waning dark moon and new moon, uh, I think it's important if you really resonate with those particular energies to set intentions at the full moon as well. And obviously your spell work, because if you're doing spell work on the full moon for manifestation, 
that's setting an intention anyway so that's how I feel about that that was a bit ra rambly but there you go so this is the actual setup that I've gone with uh, we have a uh, this is my Triscale board with the Triscale facing down and it's a circle within a circle within a circle and this is one of my new full moon spell votives and these you're getting a sneak peek basically because these are going to be available on the store as of the weekend. Uh, this one is going to be mine, so there are three others that will go on store. Um, it just looks so pretty, it just looks so beautiful. Look at how shiny! I was like, I, I need one, I shall have one on my uh moon altar today. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. So, I like the uh triple moon symbolism there's a moon within a moon within a moon, circle within a circle within a circle. I like that a lot. And although I haven't got the triple moon symbol as such on here, uh, it's a little bit more druidic in feel because you, well, Arwen kind of is the three lines, Arwen kind of comes down, so mine are actually reversed, mine are actually going outwards. Uh, but I, I liked the idea of having uh, them out, outwards. Uh, and they kind of look a little bit like rays of the moon as well as selenite uh, and I really really like that so we have uh, three they are originally white roses but uh, white roses dry to a yellow colour uh, you're doing very very well if you can get them into a, a white colour but even in a dehydrator at a low temperature they, they just they go a yellow colour but they're still beautiful they're beautiful and I felt Oh gosh, the lighting is a bit funny because of the mirror, goodness sake. And I really liked having roses here, having that... It's almost honouring the goddess, and but keeping it in a sort of honorific way and a, a spiritual way rather than having going into the red which is a little bit more of a passionate way and I do use red roses in some of my full moon uh, workings but I think this full moon with it being heavily watery there was there was more of an emotional innocence and a uh, a spiritual connotation to this particular energy and I was like but I think we want to keep it in that realm I don't think we want to get overly too passionate about it because I think if you're not careful and you like have too much uh, emotional energy in your in your setup for this full moon it might get a bit much you might get a bit weepy it might get a bit over emotional because just how much water is going on and so I wanted to keep it in more of a spiritual basis with the, the white slash yellow roses so that's that's why we've gone with that Selenite uh, up top, obviously, and there's a selenite point which I will show you last because I'm super proud of how that looks. Uh, and selenite is a crystal of the moon and the goddess. And down here we have uh, the quartz. I don't know what you call it. Little pillar. That's actually was part of the willow set up as was the two little quartz clusters and they're just good for beautiful magic and healing and all-round power crystals just umphing up the energies and I really love how reflective everything looks everything looks very lunar and then we have a little bit of uh, silver birch here uh, mirroring the silver birch there which I'll show in a minute and two aura quartzes uh, the golden aura quartzes I felt that they gave a little bit of a balance here, uh, a little bit of a grounding, a little bringing in a little bit of uh, a solar masculine energy, uh, but not to the point where it was contradictory to the rest of the setup, because it's still in the aura. Being aura quartz, it's still in that spiritual realm, it still brings that sort of spiritual balance to the rest of the energies, and given how emotional this full moon could be, I felt very strongly about having them in it. So then I uh, took my gift from nature, which was a full piece of silver birch that had just come off a tree, it was on the ground, and it's like a, a full circle and uh, with, a, with a hole at the bottom, and I was like, oh, look how, look how good! It's a little temple, a little silver birch temple of the moon with the selenite point in. I was like, oh, that's so, so good. I might actually uh, bring the willow up here actually so willow is present like in in the tree form um 
because there is some silver birch for, for other reasons, for spiritual reasons, and uh, having the willow there might help. Maybe a sprinkle of willow around the candle before we light it. So, yeah, so I really, really like this little setup, and I just thought, you know, oh, I can sh show you guys, because uh, I really think it's really, really pretty. And we've got all the crows and the, the Dorothy bits on the radiator that keep getting in shot. So, yeah, let's just have a Oh, shiny, shiny! <laughs> or it would be if the light wasn't being so crazy. But I thought it was it was really cute, and I just thought I would uh, share that with you guys and wish you all a very blessed full moon. Many blessings.